Welcome to Christ Without Borders. The persecution of Christians is coming. No, that's why God is putting people in place to take care, to support, to, pro to provide. And, what is, and that is what we are seeing, which will soon um, happen, which is the world transfer. But he has a strategy and he has a reason. The persecutions of, persecution of Christians is, is coming. You have shown it to me. The persecution of Christians is coming. But before that, he's putting people in places and positions for the world transfer. So that what? We carry out the last evangelism. Whoever wants to be saved will be saved. Whoever doesn't want to be saved will go their own way. And as we speak, um, people are choosing sides. Mm. Those who want to stay in darkness are getting more dark. Are, are getting into more evil stuff and those who have some who want to be saved and who want to who, who want to come away from the wrong things and the sins some deep down in their heart god is also providing ways to of getting them out of all of that and it's happening rapidly there are a lot of people and it's important you see Having faith is very important in the time we are in and the times who are, which are going to be ahead of us. We need a lot of faith. Because if all you know about Jesus is what someone has told you, it's, it's going to be something else. You need to have a testimony. You need to have an encounter with him yourself. I keep saying this. You need to read your Bible yourself. A lot of us have relaxed too much and we have become too relaxed and we always want to listen to, we are always listening to what someone is saying about God and what somebody is saying about this. You need a personal encounter with him. If you have, an, if you have a personal encounter with him, nobody will tell you that Jesus is not real. Nobody will be able to deceive you and lie to you that he is not alive because you would have had what? A testimony yourself, you would have had strong foundation, strong proof that this man is alive and he's real. And nobody can take it from you. The body of Christ has become too relaxed. And we have, I've said, I, keep, I keep saying this, we have become listeners of men instead of seeking after the Spirit and letting the Spirit speak to us and reveal things to us. We have become too comfortable listening to people, listening to names, people with titles, people with accolades. That's what we are doing now. But that's not it. The time and season we are in, you need a lot of faith. I'm telling you, for some of some of the things that we are about to even show up, some of the news we are about to hear, if you don't have faith, your heart will be filled with fear. And fear, we know, is a weapon of the enemy. The, a weapon, and the enemy enters a lot of people's hearts true fear and turns them away, sends them back into the world. Um, the enemy uses fear to, to remove God's people from the, the right track they are on and, and takes them away from that track. You need to have an encounter yourself and know that it is true. You know. So this is the time we have to partner with the Holy Spirit. Enough of the listening to what people are saying, listen to what this pastor is saying, listen to what that pastor is saying. It's time to read your Bible for yourself. It's time to seek the Spirit. Because when the Holy Spirit shows up, He shows up with faith. I'm telling you. The Holy Spirit, He works with faith. He's a spirit of truth. He's a, he's a teaching spirit. He's a spirit that reveals what everything that is covered. I'm telling you. The Holy Spirit is waiting to uh, reveal a lot of people, things to people, but people are not ready. We have become too relaxed. We have become too relaxed. And it's not going to help. It's not going to help. God has put people in position to bring the people to him, to point the sheep to him so that he will do what he's supposed to do. God has positioned men behind pulpits to point the sheep to him so that he, through the Holy Spirit, who is a teaching spirit, who is a spirit of truth, who is a spirit of revelation, will start bringing some things to their understanding and they have refused because they want to be listened to. 
That is what's happening now. A lot of the mega churches, they want to be listened to. They want you to listen to what they are saying. And they don't want you to go to, you to form a relationship with the Holy Spirit to listen to what the Spirit is saying. As the time you are in, it's very important that you start listening to what the Spirit is saying himself. Enough of the following of men and listening of men. And we have become worshippers of men. They are supposed to point you to Jesus Christ so that Jesus will do what he is supposed to do. But they have refused. Because they enjoy that thing. That, that, that thing that comes with it. They are, they are, thousand people are listening to me and all that. No. They are supposed to point the sheep to him. You are supposed to point the people to God himself. Through the Holy Spirit. You are supposed to teach them how to partner with the Holy Spirit. And that is how faith will grow in a church. But today, faith is winning down and down and is going low, so low. It's going, it's going so low. And what's coming and what's ahead of us without faith is going to be very difficult to stand up, to defend your faith. It's going to be difficult to take a stand in some of the things that are about to show up. It's time to partner. There's no time. Stop waiting for a tragic news before you start making your mind. Stop waiting, waiting to hear a tragic news before you decide to change and then give your heart to Christ. Perhaps there, there, there won't be, you won't have that time. All these signs we are seeing, all these things we are seeing, all the wrong decisions being made by Europe, having free gas and decide they don't want free gas anymore and people are suffering, everything is expensive. And even with that, they are still refusing to accept free gas. And you don't understand it. There's no time. So prepare yourself, please. Enough of your listening, listening to people and listening to what somebody is saying. Go into your word yourself. I'm telling you. Go into your Bible. You have to read a lot of the Pauline books. A lot of the things Paul was, taught, um, taught, was teaching, a lot of churches don't teach those things. They just, they just pick uh, parts of it and, and use it to teach and use it as reference. Spend time in the Pauline books and read what Paul was saying. Read what, what he was talking about. Go through all the books Paul gave to us and go through and understand what he was saying. Jesus spoke, uh, spoke mostly in parables. But Paul took his time to explain some of these things. Why he came. Why Jesus had to come. Why he had to die. What, what, what his death meant for us and what it means for us. A lot of Christians don't understand this. And we are, we are still practicing the old system which was there before Jesus Christ showed up. The system where everything has to go through the priest, the priest, everything is the priest, everything is the priest. God has moved away from that thing. He has moved away because he wants to come connected to him. The partition in the Holy of Holies was torn into two. What does it mean? It means oh, now all can come to me personally through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there. He's waiting for you to partner. But a lot of people that you have not been taught or you yourself don't want to do the work. And that's a problem. This is where I end this. There is something ahead of us. You need faith. I'm telling you, you need a lot of faith. You need a lot of faith to, some, to be able to bypass, to be able to stand your ground in some of the, some of the times ahead of us. Is it enough of listening to what this pastor said, what that pastor said, what that book said? Enough of that, it's time to go into your word yourself and seek to have an encounter with Jesus. Seek to have a proof that Jesus is still alive because some of the things coming. If you don't have faith, it's going to be difficult to stand. By some of the things you start hearing, some of the things you start seeing with your eyes, a lot of people's hearts will fail. He has told you in the Bible. It's time to build faith. How do you do it? By spending time in the Word of God, enough of listening to people. This is where I end this message.